Hi everybody, welcome back to This is the Police. It is day 17. We're currently in the middle of a gang war between the Sands and the Vargas, and uh, the Vargas are ahead, and we've sided with them. They're ahead by one point, or one chip. Anyway, um, I think it goes on for like two weeks or something, so there's still like some wiggle room. But uh, currently we have not been killed, so that's at least something. It's anyway, it's day 17, Freeburg Tribune, Saying, former City Hall employee admits official unemployment data far from reality. The Golden Bird is reporting citizen earnings have fallen 9% since the new year. And the fact, Freeburg's number one paper is saying unemployment in Freeburg is lowest in history. Alright, well, there we go. I mean... <laughs> off to work we go. Shit, I think we're going to get in trouble by City Hall because... This is the last day that we have to fire uh, up to upwards of six male officers and replace them with female officers. I don't even think we have the labor pool for that at all. Anyway, shift A, the best shift, arguably, is, uh, is getting uh, up to the plate. And we have uh, Birch Jr. and Samity who are going to be doing all of the uh, gang stuff while all the other officers do their work. I think that seems to be like a good way of doing it. So... And hopefully we'll get some more um, leads on this investigation, the hit and run, which has been just going forever, for Christ's sake. All right. Is this new? Late hour. Pierce Pickering Barrelhouse Jazz Band. I think this is a new one. Holy shit. We got a new record. Woo. Ah, oh, nice. All right. Linda Purdy has been buried. Uh, this was... Um, this was the um, the partner of uh, the other guy, remember? Jor Jorgen? Jorgen? Flurgen? This woman was an honest servant of the city. This is another one whereby we stole some of her salary. Today, she was buried with military honors. Rip in peace, Purdy. Uh, from City Hall, tomorrow's the deadline to hire female cops. Okay. Uh, we got our officer slot approved, which is great. Man, there's no females to hire at all in this pool. Look at Ryan Casey. Holy shit. We've got Samuel Soap, Javier Faust. Uh, we could hire Hideo Sogo, Nikos Sintron, or Chris Guerin. I guess we'll go for Hideo Sogo. Um, we need to see what shift we're going to put him on. Uh, currently, it looks like shift B has more than shift A. So let's hire him for shift A. Even things up a bit. And we're totally going to fail this deadline thing tomorrow. Anyway, we start the day, day 17, with a disorderly conduct in the suburbs. The elderly Emma Weston called in a complaint about her neighbors. Her house is shaking from loud sounds of gnashing metal and the roar of turbines, accompanied by some strange beeping noises. Through the window, she also saw people moving around. I mean... Alright, fine. You know what? We're gonna send Little uh, out there, and Little is gonna be accompanied by Ping Chin. Okay. Uh, we're gonna send these two fine female officers out to investigate all of this noise in the suburbs. Alright. Good job, guys. In the meantime, we have uh, the heavy hitters, Stovall, Lakewood, Robbins, Vandal, and uh, Grant the love triangle as well hostage situation at an asylum with a fatal casualty oh my god patients at the local asylum rebelled against the nurses during breakfast three nurses have been wounded while others remain locked in with the patients in the dining area they've threatened to kill one nurse every hour until they're released all right we're definitely going to need the paddy wagon for this one all right lakewood um grant vandal and we're going to have robins um, come along and assist. I don't think we need the SWAT team for this one. Four officers in a paddy wagon should be enough. All right, hop to it. We need to do uh, a sand mission today, don't we? To even things up, I'm pretty sure. Disorderly conduct report is in. Offender caught, officers unharmed. Good job, little chin. <laughs> little chin. <laughs> That's a great combo, holy shit. Um, our share of Mafia cocaine as well is 5,000 bucks. All right, let's take it all. We're not sharing any money with, the, with our other officers because we don't want them to know what I'm up to, okay? All right, the Vargas needs help in the ghetto. 
Um, which we're not going to do, because Vargas already won ahead. We don't want to put him too far ahead again. Hostage situation with a fatal casualty at the asylum. Reporters and onlookers have gathered around the building. The asylum patients are watching the crowd, the growing crowd, from the windows of the third floor. All right, we're going to have to call in a negotiator. Um, let's call in a negotiator. We're going to have to. Oh, that worked. Nice. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, the negotiator came in. And everything is fine. Look at that. The Lakewood effect once again. Do you know Lakewood is... is I, I can't have lost count now. He must be about, what, like 16 for 16 now? The guy cannot fail. He's just like the biggest asset right now to the police force. Um, ever. Like, it's, it's, it's unbelievable. The guy just has, like, the best luck. It's crazy. Watch him, like, go on, on, on the weekend bungee jumping and the cord snaps and he dies. Like, that, that would just be the worst, wouldn't it? Reckless endangerment in the city center. A frightened woman phoned in reporting that two men dressed in armor were running through the street shouting, But where are stings? They were chasing passers-by and swinging their blades at them. They've not yet done anyone harm, but their swords seem dangerous enough. Alright, well this is this is definitely a little a little chin job. because uh, it's just gonna be a false alarm, isn't it? Alright, and we're ignoring Vargas in the ghetto right now. Uh, because we're gonna even things up with a sand mission. We're gonna leave them even and then slowly We're just gonna put Vargas ahead so that he wins the gang war, but I'm not sure when that's gonna happen Is there any way I can even check gangs archive? No Affairs City Hall police station in the sands We could do a crime trap an investigation trap. I'm, I'm guessing that once if we successful with Vargas we'll get the Vargas thing here and maybe there'll be an option to just do a lot of drugs which would be pretty fun city hall we've done everything okay songs it's not and the sands okay sands need some help in the countryside an old friend is visiting mr sand and they're planning on going horseback riding but the owner of the country club just called he wasn't making much sense but it sounds like some punks are beating mr sands horses to death all right birch jr <laughs> jesus christ what a call Reckless endangerment. Oh. Officers caught. Oh, sorry. Officers. Offenders caught. It wasn't a false alarm at all. There were people in armor legitimately swinging swords at passers-by and trying to kill them. Crazy. All right. Well, little chin is a combo to remember. So far, little chin is two for two, which is pretty good. They could be like the, the new side act for shift A alongside the uh, love triangle that's formed between Lakewood, Vandal, and um, Grant. Uh, the Vargas needs help again. We're going to try to end today on a tie, I think. Um, so we're going to ignore this Vargas help at the port warehouses. Um, I don't even know what benefit it is doing these for our officers. They don't seem to gain anything by going. So it's, I think it's fine to just ignore them. And there's been a noise complaint in the ghetto. Klim Yuryev reports that suspicious people are constantly going in and out of the apartment next door. They're carrying big bags, making lots of noise, screaming, and his three sons can't concentrate on their homework. Mr. Yuryev urges, someone's got to show these bandits who's boss. All right, we're going to send in... Um, we're going to send in Little Chin. And we're also going to send Robins along with them. And possibly Samity as well. Because it sounds like maybe that's a crack house, but we're going to find out. Okay. We're going to send them along and we're going to hope that they don't all come back in body bags because you never know. A bunch of people going into an apartment, bags and screaming and stuff could mean that they're just like shuffling in a bunch of weapons, you know, like uh, some machine guns or whatever. And our guys could be walking into a bit of a trap here with all of this. Let's see. Oh, the sands need help as well. This is the report from the noise complaint. We caught the offenders. Nobody was harmed. The little chin, and we found automatic weapons as well. All right, let's, automatic weapons got to sell for a lot, right? Let's ask the Mafia to sell it. Okay, good job, Mafia. All right, so Vargas and Sands uh, should be even now um, because I did that job for the Sands. I sent Birch Jr. It was the one where the horses were being beat to death. So they should end on a tie today, which should be fine, and then we could do a Vargas job tomorrow. This is another... Oh, there's no new frames found. Oh, that's a shame, actually. Because we're missing, like... I think we're just missing, like, a frame. It can't be any of these red frames. Or could it, though? I mean, could it be that the red frames now are, like, fine? Like, we could do this.
do that. Do this. Or maybe like that. Oh, fuck. We had it all along. <laughs> it was the red car. Holy shit. William Holden. Frequents the local bars. Repeated arrest for driving under the influence. All right. Good job, team. We've managed to get William Holden. Finally. All right. We're going to do the Kevin Throats bar. Or should we get him at the residential area? We're going to arrest William Holden. We're going to send out Little Chin with Shero. Um, this is the William's favorite place to, to tie one on. He knows everyone. We're going to send them out here. We don't need the SWAT team for this one. And we're going to go to the residential area to his last known place of residence. Uh, residence sorry, But the information is over three years old. All right. This is definitely going to be a Samity Birch Jr. because it's probably... Um, just like bogus, right? Without the lead detective, there's a lower chance of success. Are you sure you want to send the cops in alone? No, I'm not sure about that. Okay, we're going to wait until these guys get back. All right, Little Chin, Little Chin, and um, What's-His-Face are off to find this guy, and hopefully they catch him at the bar that he frequents because the information about his uh, where he lives is like three years old. Okay, let's see. Did we get him? We got him. Oh my god, perfect! Holy shit, this guy actually did something for once. Case closed! You were able to arrest all the suspects. Fantastic. And that feels great, holy shit. Man, Lakewood did not see much action today because it was all Little Chin. I feel like maybe this is like the start of like some sort of new dynasty, like the Little Chin dynasty, uh, uh, you know, above like the Lakewood one. All right. It's a tie game between the Sands and Vargas. We're going to do a Vargas uh, mission tomorrow to tip the scales, and then we'll get Sands to catch up. I think that's the safe way of doing it. At least I hope that that's the safe way of doing it. Anyway, Birch Jr. is still hanging in there. He's not doing much, but it's good to send uh, these like low professionalism guys off on like the Mafia quests or whatever, and then uh, bulking up like our regular officers and making them better and stuff. I feel like that's like a good system. We'll have to see. Anyway, it's day 18. Who would have ever thought we would get this far into this game? Jesus Christ. Freeburg Tribune is saying that the chief physician at St. John Hospital accused of slander. Okay. Uh, the Golden Bird reports that former mafia member bemoaned City Hall corruption. And the fact, Freeburg's number one paper is saying that the mayor declined services of spokesmen. I speak for myself. Let's go to work, for Christ's sake. <laughs> Another day at the office. Another day where this old jalopy doesn't want to start. Numata didn't come in to work today. Excuse me? Today is a great day. It's the day of my daughter's wedding. No way. Can I miss the ceremony? Can I take some time off? Well, oh, fucking hell, Debrito. Of course you can. But Jesus, come in tomorrow. I'm too tired. I can hardly walk straight. Can I go home? Yeah, but come in to... No, you can't, okay? I got tickets to... What the fuck is up with Shift B? I got tickets to go watch the filming of a TV show. I've always wanted to be on TV. Can I have the day off? No! For Christ's sake! Debrito actually has, like, a legit reason for taking the day off, okay? Going to a TV show and being so tired that you can't even walk are not legit reasons for having the day off. For Christ's sake, Percy, we need you to do all the Mafia stuff as well. Anyway, there's an open investigation with these guys. I don't know if you remember, but... Um have we heard all of these so far? I think we have. Okay, fine. We'll go to the map. It's a business day today. No music allowed. All right. Shift B. What a bunch of fucking slackers. All right. We failed this. Jack, you swore an oath to serve the city. If you can't keep your promises, we won't keep ours. Shit. That's no good. There's been a rape as well. Jesus. Two homeless men made their way into a local bakery under cover of darkness where they ate their fill and bedded down for the night. In the morning, the bakery owner Gregory Martinez, along with cashier Anna Lucas, went inside and discovered the damage. The homeless men, armed with knives, were unhappy to be disturbed and attacked the victims. The shopkeeper managed to escape, but the cashier remained inside with the homeless men, who were seen tearing off her clothes. Shit. That's not good. All right, Kochi. You got lead. We're going to have to send a whole bunch of people out here. We're going to have to send Bukarika, Platonic. Actually, no. Platonic, you stay here. McNamara Jr. And you know what? We're also going to send um, Yancey. All right. We're going to send a couple of officers out to this one. 
because it's a very serious scene with uh, two homeless men with knives and potential rape victim and a shopkeeper that managed to get out. Okay. Uh, this is um, the profits of cocaine. Again, six grand. Jesus. Just to add to the pile. That's fantastic. Look, we got 51,000 bucks. The Sands need some help at the True Color Hotel. We're going to ignore that one. Um, we're looking for a Vargas job today to put Vargas in the lead. All right. The report of the rape has come in. It looks like we've we caught the two homeless people. Nobody was hurt. Um, nobody was hurt. Does that mean that the rape did not take place then? It was an attempted rape. Okay, good. And no officers were harmed either. Good job, guys. Bring it in. That's right. Everybody come back to the station. Pour some cups of Gatorade and we'll have like a little powwow. Discuss like how things went. Make sure that everybody's okay. You know, if you feel the need to like speak to somebody, you can. And then off to the Blitz Cafe where there's a fight. Two truckers fell to blows over a parking space in the lot near the diner. The cook tried to separate them but was struck by a wild punch and is now lying on the ground motionless. Holy crap. All right. Just platonic. Uh, not Percy. Mazza. All right. This is the new, like, love triangle for Shift B. We're going to send them out and see what they can do because it looks like everybody else is still coming back from that, that big rape scene. Um, that w actually turned out okay in the end, luckily. Because, um, I mean, you never know with a scene like that. It could, it could end horrifically, but very good. All right. The Vargas also need help at Desire Park. We were putting on a small concert in the park, but during the break, someone noticed that there was a bomb under the stage. Everybody's afraid to move in case they set off the bomb. Please send someone to help. I got just the man. <laughs> Percy's on his way. He's, so he's on his way out there. He wanted to stay home today as well, but no, he's out there helping. All right. The fight at the Blitz Cafe looks like it's been, um, well, separated, I guess. And the new love triangle is, uh, is, what, like two or three for three? Man, we seem to be really lucky. We're, like, not failing anything. Nobody's died. Like, everything is going spectacularly well recently. We're balancing the whole, like, gang war thing as well. What's this? Jack, my entire staff at the donut shop came down with the flu, and I haven't been able to find anyone else to help out. Could you please send me a couple of your men? I'm sure they wouldn't mind frying up some donuts. It's easy. I'll show them everything they need to know. My shop barely makes ends meet, so I can't afford even one day of downtime. This is at the Don Donatello. <laughs> I mean, who the fuck are we going to send? We're, we're already, like, in a bit of trouble here. And that, So if I send Yancey and Jorgensen to fry up donuts all day, that means that they're just going to go home when they're done. But I guess I, at the same time, we want to help Amy Marban at the Donatello because, you know, we have to, like... It's one of those things, right, where you have to, like, help out the people in the community so that the community then helps you. You know, maybe I'll get some more frames for the investigation. Maybe Amy knows, like, who done it in the Stone Cold Who Done It. All right, fine. You know what? Actually, we're, we're not going to send two guys. We're just going to send Jorgens. Oh, you can't. Okay, we are going to send two guys. All right, young Henry Rollins and Yancey, you're up. We're going to save the best for the other jobs of today. You know what? This might not be too bad because it's already near the end of the day. So, like, it might turn out okay in the end. We might be fine here. Yancey Jorgensen coming back in. Percy did not die um, out there. And we've got the report. I'm telling you, Chief, standing over that fryer is hellish work. I'd rather dodge bullets than, than the spray from the boiling oil. But at least Mrs. Marban promises she'll keep us in donuts through the rest of the year. Sweet. Well, we're going to save some money. I mean, we do buy a lot of donuts, it turns out. So if she just, like, can supply us with some donuts free of charge, then I think you guys have had your time well spent. Uh, the Sands need some help as well. Um, we're not going to help them because we want Vargas to end the day here uh, one up. And then we'll help the Sands tomorrow, I guess, right? Uh, and there's some public indecency at the Last Picture Show Theater. During a special viewing of the thriller Law Abiding Max 3, a theater employee discovered one of the members of the audience had removed his pants. The man noticed the employee was watching him and responded with the threat that he would cut the throats of everyone in the theater. Holy crap. All right. Uh, you know what, actually? We're going to send out we're gonna send out the dream team again. It's going to be uh, Platonic, Maza, and Gist are going to go to the indecent exposure uh, call at the theater. 
and see if they can um, bring their special brand of luck to the scene and have it. Oh, look. Uh, we could do like another Vargas and put him up by two, but I don't think we should. I think we should just play it this way. Like I th it's like kind of safe and boring, but at least like it, it'll almost guarantee results, right? The movie theater isn't too crowded and the film is in full swing. And look at this guy. <laughs> oh my God. Carefully approach the man, throw a he heavy object at the offender, turn on the lights and take aim at the offender. Okay, let's carefully approach this nude man. All right, it looks like carefully approaching him. Look at that, it's worked. Jesus, everybody's juices are flowing now after seeing that nude man as well. They just like had like a big um, fun orgy in the car on the way back. Uh, vandalism in the suburbs as well, just to close the day. A man who wished to remain anonymous reported that a group of teenagers had once again made fun of his name by writing insulting rhymes on his six foot wide garage. The man is enraged and threatened that next time he'll use a weapon to defend his honor. Holy crap, I wonder what his name is. All right, Kochi, you get out there, and you know what? Why don't you take Magnamara Jr. with you? All right, we got two very professional police officers going to the scene, and uh, so professional, in fact, that they won't do, like, any sort of, like, uh, snickering or anything when he tells them what the last name is and they see the graffiti and stuff. Anyway, uh, we've got three new frames. Uh, this is from Detective DeBrito, who... Um, hilariously is at his daughter's wedding reception today and still working the case which is fantastic holy shit um if we do manage to catch this guy we're not going to be able to send him as the lead uh, to pick up the guy so there's a chance that it could fail all right so um this is like the brick thing right so city one blah blah blah, blah. the window was broken and the canvas was cut from the frame there was no trace of anyone around all right so uh he might have done it with this brick, I guess. I think we've got the frames that we need, possibly. Cut the canvas, and maybe did did that. Maybe he did this. So he was in. So he broke the window, right? And then he was walking, and then he carefully put the brick back into his bag, I guess. Or maybe he just used the flashlight. But what's the brick all about? It's a big. There's a. Oh, yeah, there was just there was no trace of anyone around just a brick lying on the floor. Okay, so he didn't actually put the brick back in. He left the brick there, right? So maybe it was like It's a brick what the fuck. This is like a different hand. I don't get it it's the brick Maybe it's like this brick like this Or Maybe you have to do this Brick we had the thing, so this is the, this is the guy who apparently had the tube and the bike, and he peed on the thing. But there was a brick. Okay, so this is definitely right. So he's like, cut it out of the frame. Okay, so it's not there anymore. Um, but then there's like this whole like brick business here. So, maybe he took the brick out of a bag, broke the window, walked through. This is like, this is a different hand, the brick. So I don't really get it, but there you go. I don't know. Maybe we're still missing a frame. Okay, let's wait for another frame to come in, possibly, before we do that one. Maybe we're just missing one. Or maybe, like, I just need to mess around with it with, like, a clear mind tomorrow. All right. I hope nobody laughed at this guy's last name. It looks like they didn't. They were very professional about it, and we caught the offenders, and nobody was hurt. Man, what a day. It was, like, another perfect day. Nothing went wrong. We should be, like, uh, one ahead with Vargas, and I hope that um, we manage to not get killed by the Sands. All right, so the Vargas is up by one. Um, they're currently in the lead, so we have to do one job for the Sands tomorrow. Um, and hopefully tomorrow isn't, like, the judgment day for all this. Fantastic. Holy crap. Well, there we go. Uh, Percy is, like, on death's doorstep right now. He's about to die. He's so tired. He probably could use a day off. Maybe we should have given him a day off, but we need him to do our mafia things. Uh, Mole and Tar um, managed to get some new frames out of that investigation, but it wasn't enough. And we have a new love triangle on Shift B, which seems to be working out quite well in the form of Gist, Maza, and Platonic. Um, and then we've got the heavy hitters, Kochi, Magnamara, Bukarika, Yancey's pretty good. Jorgensen is getting there. Young Henry Rollins still got some work ahead of him, but still. 
Shift B is shaping up really nice. It's still no Shift A, though. Shift A is like, wow. Holy crap, it's insane. What the fuck? Brito, why are you on Shift A? Oh, I see. Yeah, he's coming in tomorrow to work Shift A. So that means that if he's working tomorrow, um, it means that he could maybe still work on that investigation and find some more frames, which is interesting, actually. Great. All right. Well, as usual, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.